If you have an Aviva Pi server, here's how easy it is to get started with Connect Data Services so that you can take this Pi point and asset framework data and expose it to cloud-based dashboarding, analytics, machine learning, cloud-based notifications and alerting, and more. And we're going to get started with this Pi server right here. I have some Pi points already configured, and I've already gone ahead and mapped other Pi points within Asset Framework Elements. I'm going to be sending this to the cloud using Connect Data Services. And so to go ahead and get started, and I'll do all of this live, just one, one cut here, I'll go ahead and sign into the Connect Data Services portal. Now this is an empty Connect Data Services tenant, just like what you would look like if you were just getting started. If I look in my sequential data store, you can see there's no streams, it's completely empty. I'm just starting with these Pi points and that AF in my Pi server. So to go ahead and get started, I'll click the Pi to Connect Agents page and download this agent. Now this is going to be that continuously running service that's going to maintain the synchronization between the specific data items that I picked to send to the cloud and my cloud tenant. You can see it's gone ahead and downloaded this kit and the actual installation process for this is going to be very straightforward, just a few minutes. And we'll go ahead and do that now. So we'll go ahead and run this kit and this will allow me to install this as a continuously running service. In my case, I'll accept the default service account and hit install. And that's it for the installation. What next comes the configuration process for specifically figuring which uh, cloud tenant I want to send this data to and which source Pi server and you know data archive and asset framework I want to send up to the cloud. And also later on, I'll be able to pick which specific data items. You absolutely have complete control over which specific data you are syncing up to the cloud. Now, the installation is done. And exactly as I said, my next piece is going ahead and using the configuration utility to pick which cloud tenant I want to write to. I'll hit connect and it's going to use the existing sign-in that I had. I was already signed into my specific tenant. It'll pick up that sign-in. It'll say, yes, this is my tenant. And I just get to pick which namespace within it I want to write the data to. I'll pick my CSC SAS tenant and my CSC SAS namespace. I'll give my agent a description and hit continue. And now I can pick which of my AF servers I want to work with. So I'll go ahead and type in my server name. I'll hit add server. It's going to establish a connection to this and detect any data archives that are associated with that AF server. I'll select this one and I'll go ahead and add it. What I can go through next is, you know, I could install this to connect to my AF server, Pi server on a separate machine. I could change my mappings, for instance, if this was running on a separate machine. But right now, I'm just going to accept all the defaults. You can see we've been doing this for barely three minutes, all in real time. And at this point, this configuration utility, and I'll hit test and OK, this has actually successfully connected my on-premises data archive and asset framework server to the cloud. So go, go ahead and hit exit. And next, I'll pick which data items I want to send up. And so to do that, once I refresh this page, I will see that yes, that agent is connected and now it's registering itself. And that next step that I want to do is I want to hit create transfer, but I can only do that once the registration is done. And then I'll pick these AF items and you know those Pi points and send them up to the cloud. Uh, but I do have to wait for that registration to complete. And with a system like this, the registration is going to take maybe a minute or two or three. So here's where I'm going to step away from my desk and do a quick time jump. Uh, you can see in the bottom right, you know, the, the continuous running clock. I'll hit refresh. OK, still registering. I'm just going to step away from my desk and we'll come back when the registration is done. OK, registration's done. You can see we jumped ahead a couple of minutes and now I can go ahead and hit create transfer. But you can see all together we've been running for less than 10 minutes. We installed that agent. We pointed it at the cloud, pointed it at my server. And now just a few minutes later here, we can finally hit the create transfer button. And again, that's going to let me pick these specific pieces from AF and these specific Pi points and sync them up to the cloud. So hey, create transfer. Uh, I can give my transfer a human friendly name and description if I want. But the really exciting piece about this window is I can pick what the start time is. If I'm setting up connected data services for specific use cases to empower my reporting teams, my analysts to be setting up uh, cloud based machine learning and AI and connected modeling and analytics, I don't want to get started today. I want to load historical data so that I can immediately start putting uh, all these applications to use with my data without having to wait for it to come in. 
So what I can do here is I can pick a historical time range, days, weeks, months, even years in the past, and start syncing that data up to the cloud too. I'll leave everything here as my defaults. I'll set that I want to automatically delete streams and assets from the cloud to keep them in sync with what I have on premises. And at that point, I'll hit OK. And now I'm presented with a familiar AF and PyPoint search for picking which pieces from my on-premises system I want to send to the cloud. Now, I want to pick specific AF elements from there, so I'll just go ahead and hit search and search for all AF elements. And here I can use checkboxes to click which ones I specifically want to send out to the cloud. I'll pick these four AF elements. These, again, these exact four that I see on premises. And when I hit add, it's going to not only sync up the AF elements and any pie points that are associated with them, but also any static attributes too. And I'll do the same thing just to show what it looks like if I just want to send pure pie point data to, which I can absolutely also do as well. I'll search for pie tags by their descriptor for a couple of temperature reading tags. These five look great. Again, these five that I had earlier open and system management tools. So I'll just go ahead and hit add points to transfer. And now you can see these are all of the pie points from the data archive and from my AF elements that will be synced to the cloud. I'll hit save and I finished configuring my transfer. And now the last step for my transfer to begin the synchronization is for it to just hit start. I'll go ahead and hit start. And remember how my sequential data store earlier had zero streams in it? Well, now that you know it's beginning to get started, it's initializing, once it gets started, these AF elements and these pie points will show up in the cloud portal. And yeah, it started, it's sending data. So if I go ahead and check next in my sequential data store, these were not here before. These are pie points from on-premises synced up to the cloud in just a handful of minutes. And under Visualization Asset Explorer, the exact same thing here for my AF elements as well same names we're gonna have the same static properties too and for the dynamic properties these are those pi point references that were mapped back in af which you can now also see in the cloud too and i can change my time range to view not just current data but again since it's seeking historical data as well i can say yeah show me data from the last two days and i had that backfilled up to the cloud as well so my analysts my dashboarding users can start looking at these af elements and these pie points with historical data as well and again we just installed that single agent and in just a handful of minutes we had this up and running and i have a sequential data store now with the pie points that i need to empower my analysts my machine learning models all thanks to the fact that this Pi to connect agent installation was done in just a handful of minutes. And again, if you look in the bottom here, just a handful of minutes since we originally started. And so if you have questions about how you could accomplish this at your own sites, bringing your own asset framework elements up to the cloud, or your own Pi points to the cloud, doing visualizations, analytics, ML, and more, please reach out to us at Aviva and we look forward to having those conversations with you about how we can put connect data services to work for you. Thank you.